Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my messy bed. Welcome back to another Mail Monday. This is the sixth one in the series so far. I know I haven't really been uploading these uh, weekly so I'm probably going to turn it into like an every fortnight thing. So every two weeks you'll see a Mail Monday. Today we have, this is going to be a little different. I mean Mail Monday is going to be like unboxings of packages which I receive. I'll open them all on Monday. So far it's been all based around Pokemon stuff. This week it's got a bit of Pokemon and it's got a bit of um, variety I should say. I don't want to give any spoilers yet. But um, we're going to start things with something I, I know what this is. This has actually been sitting in my bedroom packaged for probably over a month now. I've actually left this here waiting for a Mail Monday. I mean, I wasn't desperate to play it as I've played this already. So at least you know it's a game. And um, I thought this week was the time to unbox this. So we'll get straight into this. Brand new and sealed in a way. It <laughs> hasn't been opened yet. So we'll just tear through this because um, that's the kind of animal I am. And inside you find a DS game. Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo DS. This is my favorite Mario game of all time. Now I've actually got, okay, I sold my N64, but I actually bought one back. I bought the Pikachu version, um, which is really pretty, but then again, it's actually hard to find this game box. I mean, I can pick this up just cartridge by itself, but I'm kind of the guy who likes to, I'm a collector, so I want the box. I don't want to buy it just the cartridge, so I decided to go for the DS version for now. And uh, definitely can't wait to play through this game. Cool thing is you can play with all your favorite characters, well, not all your favorite characters, but it gives you more variety of characters to play with and um, really good condition. Surprisingly, I actually picked this up for £5 over here in the UK. Uh, there's this selling app called Depop and um, it's really cool. It's similar to eBay but just not as popular. And this is where I found this, so just make sure the game's inside. Yes, it is. So, yeah, definitely can't wait to play this. And this is a great way to start Mail Monday. I'm actually really, really excited about this. It comes with all the manuals. Really good condition, and for five pounds, I think that was probably a great steal on my behalf. So yes, there we go. Now we'll dive into something slightly smaller and slightly more traditional here. Traditional, I should say, and this would be for Pokemon cards. Now, honestly, I have no idea uh, what cards. As I said, most most of these packages have all been lying around for over a month now, probably two months to be precise, and. Um, I just got no idea which cards I ordered. I'm actually recording this at a really awkward ang angle because this is kind of an unexpected video, so I do apologize for that. Um, but inside, I mean, all the cards I do order are usually always hollows. Um, you don't really order cards when they're not hollows. But I mean, it's, it's going to be something I like because that's why I ordered it. I ordered these cards off eBay. Um, do you know, I've got an idea of what cards I did order, but which package they're in, I have no idea. So um, let's dive into this one. It's actually, a bit of a tricky one too. Ugh, get out! Alright, I don't even want to damage the card. I'm, okay, it's actually wrapped, kind of like double sealed. It's wrapped in paper again. So, our card is going to be, looks like a Japanese card. Yes, it is a Japanese card. And that card is... Ah, oh, yes! How do you pronounce this one? Um, is this the God of War? I think it is. I'm going to go with that for now. Sorry if I'm if I'm wrong. But a really, really pretty card. A Japanese version, a nice hollow. Uh, honestly, I have no idea which set this is from. But all I know, this is a pre-card. I'm gonna take it out of its sleeve. Oh wait, it's a double! It's a double! Oh shoot, we got a slow king as well! Okay, I'm definitely familiar with that one. It's a double! Oh my god, this is what I mean. I have no idea what I what I ordered. And um, there we go, a great way to start things with the Pokemon side of things. And um, two hollows there, one dark type. Actually, they're both psychic types, but one just looks like a dark type. But yeah, really pretty artwork there. And um, definitely very pleased with those. So we'll dive straight into another Pokemon. Actually, we'll get all the Pokemon out of the way first. And then um, we'll finish things with the big package. <laughs> and this is actually something which arrived today, uh, which is actually a Thursday, but I won't be uploading this until on Monday. So um, it's really awesome. I'll definitely post the pictures on Instagram in case. But beside, behind this cardboard, we have our next Pokemon card, which is, ah, oh, yes, going all the way back to the fossil set, we have a Lapras. They're nice, um, nice artwork. I mean, the artwork's actually quite basic, but just to have these cards is, it really does bring back my childhood because this is where I, actually, I start with the base set. I think this was like the second or third set. And um, I remember actually having this card until that one dark day I sold all my Pokemon cards and now my mission is to get them all back. And um, we've got a Lapras here, water type Pokemon, and it's, it's a really pretty card. I do love the hollows from the old days. I mean, if I had to compare them to now, I mean, the artwork today is probably a lot better. But it's just something about these cards which I prefer. I'm not sure if it's a nostalgia. I'm not sure what it is, but I really do love these cards. And there we go. We have a Lapras. So we're moving on to the third and final Pokemon uh, card of this Mail Monday unboxing. I mean, I've actually got a few more packages um, which I've still got left and open. But I'll probably save those for the next Mail Monday. And um, 
hopefully it will be a good one because I have no idea what to expect here. This one's actually... Okay, you may have to bear with me here, guys. I'm going to have to tear through this one. Uh, okay, this one's going to slide right out, I hope. I don't want to damage the card. And we have... We'll flip the server. Oh, yes, we got a promo card. We have a Meowth. Do you know what? I've actually been trying to get... Do you know what? I was actually looking for this card for for quite a while. I mean, you always find it on eBay, but I was always trying to get it at a fair price. You always see this one um, priced at like £6. I actually won this one in the auction for, I think it was around £2, £2.50. And I just love Meowth. I, I'm a huge fan of cats. And this is a really pretty card. It's a promo card, so they're pretty rare to get. And a uh, very good condition, as you can see there. Meowth? That's right. If you know that, that's from the anime. Really cool card there. So I'm really pleased with uh, my four Pokemon cards. I thought it was going to be three, but it's the four. Um, yeah, let me know what your favourite one was, guys. I'm not even sure which one's my favourite. I probably have to go with the Lapras, if anything. Um, I'm just a huge fan of that Pokemon. But yeah, that's our four Pokemon out of the way. So we've had the Super Mario 64, we've had the Pokemon cards, and now we have this package. Okay, let's dive into this one. I'm really, I, okay, I'm, I 100% know what this one's going to be. Um, so bear with me, guys. I'm going to open this one kind of like off camera in a way, because you can't really see me right now, but you can hear me, which is maybe a bonus to you. I don't know what you guys think. But um, I picked this one up in a, this wasn't even an auction, it was listed as a buy it now on eBay and it had the best offer option. So I actually picked this up for £10 exactly, including postage. So for that price, this is really, really good. This is actually anime related, I'll tell you that now. And this is, okay, it's actually like double wrapped here, I apologise. But I will show you guys while I'm doing this. It'll give you an idea of what to expect. And here we go. So this is actually from this country, but it's a Japanese figurine. Um, anime related of course this is Naruto it says it down at the bottom there and um, oh cool this is from Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 do you know what? I was not aware of this I thought it was just like an I don't know just like a figure but it's got the Bandai Namco down at the bottom there so this is definitely re related to the game that's awesome because I actually think okay is this related to the game or it could be uh, coming soon we have um, Minato, Itachi we got all the characters there the Akatsuki, Gara, and um do you know, I'm actually kind of surprised this is, maybe it's not from the game, because I know Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 actually does do a special edition version which comes with a figurine, but I'm not really aware of which figurine that is, but um, let's not worry too much for now, let's just dive in to this box, it's not brand new, but it's a uh, very good condition, it was stated as, I'll be the judge of that, okay, maybe it is brand new, because this is actually taped up, I mean for £10 I did expect it to be brand new, I'm just assuming, but... We'll see, we'll see. Okay, diving inside the box. Okay, it's double taped. Oh my, I, I hate tape so much. Ah, uh, I see, I can't even see the tape as well. I'm trying to peel it, because I've got no fingernails, so this is kind of difficult for me. This is where I need like a gel or something, or, or a knife. <laughs> something sharp anyway. Okay, but the thing I hate about tape is when you tear the tape and actually tears the box. That really does annoy me. Okay, bear with me, guys, bear with me, guys. Okay, we're almost there. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And there we go, okay. Naruto, I'm coming for you. Okay, so maybe this is brand new. Everything's sealed up. Everything's taped up. Well, it was taped up, not anymore. But yeah, wow, this actually feels like a really well-made figurine. So I'm always, I've always been a huge fan of the Naruto figurines. Uh, I've got quite a few now. I've actually got one Naruto already, but for £10, why not add another Naruto to my collection? I don't have this figure. So um, it was definitely worth doing. So we're going to quickly place this together. And then uh, I'll show you guys uh, how this thing looks. Okay. We're almost there. Ah, there we go. Nice and tight. So that's definitely not going to come undone. And there he is, guys. I was hoping you can see that clearly. Uh, I know the light is not great in my room right now. But that's a really, really pretty figure. We've got Naruto there <laughs> with his kunai in hand. One thing I do hate is you can't see his necklace because he's always wearing that like his jumpsuit turtleneck thing. Um, but really cool figurine. I love the the detail on his hair there. The spikes look really awesome. And I'll give you guys a better look here um, in the light just so you can see this figure perfectly. But um, yeah, solid figure overall for ten pounds. You can't complain with this thing. This is really really pretty. And wow, you just gotta love Naruto. Whether you watch anime or not, you just gotta love him. And um, there we go, guys. That's going to do it for this week's Mail Monday. Hopefully you did enjoy the variety here. If you did, then please let me know down below because I can try and mix things up for the future instead of just doing it all Pokemon related. But yeah, until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.